Hi, my name is Mike Broussard and I own and operate Cypress Mill Studios here in Gonzales, Louisiana. Today we're going to be recording drums using the Personas Digimax D8 and also using two Eureka channel strips. My computer recording rig is a Digi002 rack with my Digimax D8 connected via ADAT optical light pipe and the two Eureka channel strips connected via SPIDA with the AD192 digital output card. Connecting the Personas preamps to the 002 is easy. An optical light pipe cable is connected on one side to the light pipe output on the Digimax D8 and then to the light pipe input on the Digi002. In Pro Tools, I'll select hardware setup and choose optical for my clock source, and I'm done. For the Eurekas, I'm using the AD192 digital output card, which sends two channels from one card. So on the AD192 card, there is a TRS input which is connected to the TRS output on the Eureka that does not have the AD192 card installed. Then I connect a SPDIF digital cable from the AD192 card SPDIF output to the SPDIF input on the Digi002. In Pro Tools, I set up two mono SPDIF channels in the I.O. setup and I'm ready to record. Today I'm using 10 microphones to mic the drum kit. The main kick drum mic and top snare mic are connected to the Eurekas. The tom mics, overheads, snare bottom, hi-hat mic, and sub-kick are connected to the Digimax D8. Before recording, I record and enable all of the tracks and adjust the preamp gain on the Eurekas and Digimax D8 so that the recording level is as hot as possible without clipping. On the Eurekas, I'm able to apply some light EQ and compression to tailor the sound a bit. Once the levels are set and the drummer's ready, I press record and that's it. The Digimax D8 and Eurekas take my 002 rack to a new level, allowing me to use all 18 inputs. They're easy to hook up, they're rock solid, and best of all, they sound great. 